Hey everybody, it's me again. Me and my crazy awesomeness, because yeah. I'm sorry I sound like crap, I have strep, which is why I am able to do the video, because you know, I can't go to school when I'm still contagious. Um, it's not that mean. Plus a lot of girls in my school have babies and that just seems rude. <laughs> so today I'm going to talk about healthy foods, like yummy, yummy, yummy deliciousness. <laughs> Two specific healthy foods. Actually, I'm going to go over apples and almonds. Oh my gosh, the A's, the A's. <laughs> so apples have this antiox have antioxidants. I can barely talk, so I have no idea if you understood a word I just said. But um, it helps combat all that achy crap <laughs> that's trying to make you sick. So that's good. And then animal studies. I know, I can already hear people going, ah, animal studies, but basically when they're saying it in this sense, it doesn't mean like, does this make the animal's fur fall out, you know, like the gross stuff that makes all of us cry, because animals are fluffy and adorable, but um, it means like, basically, they feed the control group one amount of apple and other less and the last none. So it's just that type of experiment, but that's just, yeah, so no animals are being abused here, they're just being fed different things, I swear, <laughs> at least I hope so, um, but it shows that they have longer lifespans, and um, when they eat more apples, and since we're animals, <laughs> well, it might take a bit more apple, <laughs> it's the same concept, and also, um, females, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but females have the highest risk of heart disease, which is just weird in my opinion because, yeah, it just it's just weird. <laughs> but we have the highest chance of heart disease. So, and the studies find that females who rarely eat a lot of apple, or at least you know a good amount of apples, um, 13% to 22% less risk chance of heart disease, lower risk <laughs> of heart disease. <laughs> If I can speak, I swear. <laughs> and um, so that's pretty cool. And then almonds have all the good vitamins. So the magnesium and iron and vitamin C and stuff <laughs> that help us process our foods and sunlight. I don't know. <laughs> vitamins are good for us, I know that much. I just don't really know why. <laughs> and um, But it also helps lower cholesterol. So almonds, yum, 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 yum. Eat your A foods, eat your A foods. So, um, it's, almonds are really important. Almonds, <laughs> almonds and apples too. These, those types of foods that have a lot of, vit or that are really rich in vitamins and antioxidants are really good during pregnancy. Um, for young children, especially children who get sick a lot or have allergies. Interesting fact, uh, a teaspoon of honey can help get rid of allergies for um, animals and humans. Kind of cool, right? But yeah, so, but a lot of people are really picky about them, which sucks because they're so good for you and they can be really yummy. Um, like, and if you, have, if you have kids, I have a lot of friends with kids, babies, actually. But um, instead of buying the formula apples, which have a lot of extra chemicals or almonds, um, not formula, baby food, you know, the mashed up cruddy stuff <laughs> that kind of looks like somebody just squished up a bunch of things and said it was food. Yeah, they may actually make their own. And, um, some recipes say peel the apples, but a lot of the antioxidants <laughs> are actually in the skin of the apple. So you just want to rinse it and wash it thoroughly. I have friends who scrub it. Um, my friend with her daughter, she, she scrubs it. She, um, actually has a special brush that she used to say she scrubs it to get all, like, the things off. But she also buys organic apples. You don't necessarily need to buy organic apples, but, you know, can. <laughs> Good for you. But, um, and then basically it just cut it up and put it food, through a food processor. And, um, add cinnamon if you want. Cinnamon's really good, too. It's actually pretty good for you. So, and it makes it taste really yummy. <laughs> So, yeah, that's, like, if you have finicky eaters or really young children, 
I always add some in. <laughs> I'm just gonna roll some. <sighs> um, and also I want to get really quickly into, um, I just, there's a lot of, it's hard to eat right when you're in a hurry, but, um, you know, there's a lot of really, there's good solutions to it, and they take a little bit longer, but not much longer. Like, if you just, like, shred up chicken from the other day or something and throw it on a salad or in a tortilla with, you know, lettuce, <laughs> there you go, great meal. Yum, yum. Eat it. <laughs> it's a quick, quick meal, and it's pretty healthy for you, so you don't have to worry too much about it. It's better than going through the drive through and grabbing, like, you know, a burger or you know, getting a donut for breakfast. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's something to think about. And then I want to get into super duperly quick. Just, um, I had a friend mention to me the other day that she was having a hard time losing her baby weight and her daughter's four months old. She was still thing in the world. <laughs> but, um, and, uh, she went to the doctor, and basically her, she's not eating enough, like, salt, or she's eating too much salt and not drinking enough water, one of the two, <laughs> sorry, but, um, so she's bloating, like, because she's so busy, she, she, so she's just bloating, it's a lot of water weight, and it's not actually baby fat, so... Mm, it's important to drink a lot of water because it can make you bloat and seem heavier and feel heavier and look heavier. So water is really important. And so is a good amount of salt, but you don't want to eat too much salt because that just makes the matters worse because you want salt to be a good balance in your diet because it does have yummy stuff in it. But yeah, so don't like over season stuff either because that can cause your cholesterol to just go through the roof. And I'm trying to make you guys eat good and be healthy, not kaput <laughs> and um oh yeah cat dandruff Ooh, for anybody with animals this is gonna be fun um it's actually a problem it's not actually not what you're allergic to by the way if you're allergic to cats or you're allergic to their um dander different thing I think it's not the hair it's the skin <laughs> but um Basically, if you have any animals with dandruff, it can really irritate the skin, and then they can tear it up because, you know, it itches. <laughs> so, um, the anti-dandruff shampoo for animals, or even the baby shampoo, there's baby shampoos for, like, dry scalps. Those type of stuff works on the animals, and it helps soothe their skin. So, you got to think about that if you have animals, because you don't want them to hurt, and that was random, I know, but hey. So, here's my actually pretty short for me <laughs> video, and, uh, have a nice day, everybody. Don't run in traffic unless, you know, you want to.